for me to be in Kansas is just growing up in the Midwest and spending my childhood in the Midwest, growing up in a very rural setting and um, all that stuff from my childhood had sort of unveiled itself 15, 20 years later in the studio. is it's almost like research I was doing when I was a kid that related to the work. And Bill North, uh, who was a curator here at the beach, became aware of the work and mm -hmm. invited me to come out and take a look at the space. And uh, we looked around, took a trip out to the Kanza Prairie and spent a day out there. And um, sort of that visit and those conversations led to this idea of doing a piece f for the Stolzer Gallery, an outdoor version of this piece that was in response really to uh, the landscape of Kansas, the idea of these open fields and prairie. And one of the things I was really interested in about the project was the space itself, that the gallery is this, um, this outdoor space, but still very much an indoor space in a way. It's this um, it's a real industrial character to the gallery with the exposed concrete walls and the, and the pavers, but then you're opened up to the sky. And I was really interested in that idea of um, making this piece that's in reference to nature, but is also tied to all these industrial materials, the stainless steel and the brass and the aluminum. Um, and this, this play, that juxtaposition of those two things, the, the regimented architectural geometric nature of the gallery and of, of the man-made, and then this homage to nature at the same time. So there's something very natural about the, the piece, even though it is very regimented and a very kind of mechanical interpretation of this natural idea of wind blowing through a field of grain.